What's up guys, Gary here. I want to cover something that I have seen a request on uh, in the comments of the last video that I uploaded. And that is to explain how to do night textures using uh, SBuilder X. So in the past I've shown you, let me pull this up here. I switched to uh, Windows 10 by the way, if you hadn't noticed. and I don't know. I'm still getting used to it. Um, a lot of things are different. A lot of it is the same. A lot of it is a little smoother, you know, and whatnot. But either way, we'll figure it out. Uh, let's see here. So bear with me if I can't find something or do it the wrong way. So uh, anyhow, what I was saying was in the past I've shown you how to make, of course, your base satellite image from your uh, work folder you know uh, just the satellite map I'm not gonna re go over that that's all in the basics video um, then of course we have our blending layer which is underscore B with a tiff these are fall spring and summer textures which are basically not much different where I live at then you have your winter textures and then W is for our water you know for that little patch of water right there and if you remember, the blend is gets rid of the the satellite trees, so we can make our own. Uh, kind of opens it up, makes it look a little more realistic. You know, again, we've already covered all this. So the only thing that is missing is a night texture, because if you've flown over your photo file, you've probably noticed that it glows in the dark. <laughs> That's because we do not have a night texture assigned to it. So all you have to do is basically your your base one here however you have it layered that's for like the I have my guides hidden by the way that's for the GMAX ground file anyways all you need to do is just create a layer on top of your your base satellite and you're gonna paint this thing 100 percent black that is zero 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 red zero green zero blue and that layer will be zero now, if we were to open this up into the sim at night time, it would look about like that, depending on the time of day. You know, you can just adjust this slider here. And that shows you kind of how it shows through. So, that's basically what it would look like. Which, it works. It is a night texture. But, we'd like to have some light showing through, things like that, you know some cool stuff like there's there are some street lights here and there on there on our uh, base satellite image to do that you just need to create like a uh, I don't know you know you have white lights and you have more of a yellow yellowish tint to it I take my airbrush and uh, let's reduce the size here yeah here we go so there's like a house right here as you can see um, we're just gonna paint it just paint in where we would think a, uh, a light texture would be things like that you know you just you're just painting it in that kind of looks like crap that looks like crap don't do that let's make it a little bit smaller things like this okay and you can kind of make it a little bit darker a little more pronounced and if you want to um, let's say I don't know make it so this light illuminates an area here all you do is just uh, change your opacity a little bit here and just kind of color it in so therefore we have our light and then we have the light it cast on the ground do the same here normally I'll do something like this just kind of click it in there like so we're gonna have a street light here we'll put a street light here and then there is actually one right here on this corner in the real airport there's one out here that lights up this whole parking lot hear me click 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 <laughs> uh, what not just go crazy you know wherever you think a street lamp would be it is time consuming but you know it makes it look good in the end and put that back at about 30 25 30 you can go ahead and put your light in there. 
that's where their light's going to be. This is where the light will live here. And just like that. And then you go ahead and change that back to 100. And there's your night texture. Now, if you want to do roads and stuff like that, you can do that. You're just basically going to draw your line and just, you can color it that way. You can do different types of blending layers, whatnot. So once you get that done, you're going to flatten it. Like I said, this is very cut and dry, very basic. I'm trying to do this video in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> and you're going to save this as a TIFF file, just like the others. This will be underscore LM for light map. We're not compressing it or anything like that. And close that down. So go back into here tools work and now we have a light map so anyhow that's how you make a night texture and the sim itself will go ahead and blend it it won't be pure pitch black you know the sim will blend it in with the rest of the scenery textures and if you're kind of curious as to you know what what they use for default you know you could always go into uh, I don't know um, Let's see, let's go into uh, prepare 3D into their scenery world texture. Let's see here. Let's see what they got here. They may not have theirs. Oh, I see how they did it. Yeah. Okay. So we'll open this with. Uh, I want to use. DXT bitmap. See, I told you I'm still I'm still <laughs> still trying to learn learn this. I drug it onto my other screen over here. There we go. And see how they have it kind of blended in a little bit. You can do that. And this is where I got the idea. You have your pinpoint light and then a fade in. So with that, with that being said. Let's go back into Photoshop. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oop, that is not the right one. 43. So I didn't save my file I'm like an idiot. So let me make it black again here. I didn't save it because I didn't want to mess up my grid. Clear the guides. You can do about what? About 85. I think 85 is what I've always used. There you go. So, what I said earlier, making it back to 100%, don't do that. I forgot. Put it at 85. And then with your light textures in there and whatnot, then you can save it. Okay. But I already, actually, since I already made that one, we can actually just make it a layer. So, if you do screw it up, just grab this one that you've already saved, as long as it's pitch black. Just change it to about 85. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. 85. Then flatten it. Then get rid of that. Save as TIFF. This will be the LM. And there we go. So there you have it, guys. Less than 10 minutes. 8 minutes and 45 seconds. I have showed you how to... Uh, make a night texture so if you guys want to see anything else any other things like that uh, let me know in the comment section please subscribe to the video by clicking the link here and I would really appreciate it if you guys if you like my videos a lot uh, to please donate to the cause uh, you can donate by clicking on the card in the upper uh, right hand corner of the video and uh, send a little cash my way to show me how much you love my videos i know that's terrible isn't it but uh thanks for watching guys see you on the next part and have fun designing your scenery bye guys and gals <laughs>